Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to the Harmony Islands, where our little critters are trying their best to both strengthen their numbers and also shape the future generation of the pack for the inevitable migration. Because pretty soon, once we have strong enough creatures and enough food in our stores, we do plan on moving off to this island to the right to see what we can find there. And you guys have let me know that there are a lot of dangerous things on these new islands, including new predators to look after. So it's very important as we pair these guys off in the future that we make sure that we're bringing in strong enough genetics to defend the rest of the pack too. So as it is right now, we are kind of low on males. A lot of them are either close to the end of their lives or they have these flaws hidden away in their genetics like Kukir Duke, who we pulled in in the last episode. He has the blind eyes sitting in his genetics and he also has the no paw. The no paw we can work around, but the blind eyes I'm starting to get worried about since a lot of our females now also are carrying the blind eyes in their recessives. So I think I think what we're going to try to do is breed out the blindness as soon as possible. We don't want blind eyes right now as we're trying to strengthen our numbers. I don't think that's going to help us. So what we're going to try to do is breed Kukir Duke and Sianami like we were before. We're going to see how many babies they can have before they end up passing away because I see both of them are getting pretty close. They are getting quite old. But we're going to place the normal eyes back in the mutation menu to see if that works, kind of weed out the blindness gene. But we're going to keep the running legs in there as well, just to hopefully get rid of this no paw. Now, other than that, I think we are ready to uh, skip the turn and set into motion the rest of this day. Um, Kuvan here could possibly pick up these and then scoot over here so he can help pick up these nuts in the next turn. But other than that, I think we're good. So let's go ahead and skip the turn. Um, oh my gosh, oh no, they're already starting to pass away. I think that was Anacora, actually. She was another one of the wanderers that we found. So she unfortunately only managed to have one baby, which was Kirvankir. But he is definitely going to help us in the future because of those double berry paws. So he is going to be um, one of the creatures that we are hopefully going to be breeding soon. But let's go ahead and breed these two straight away. We'll have Sianami breed with him. We'll have their little baby kind of scoot out of the nest over here. He has the poison fangs, of course. So he is going to be very, very helpful to the rest of the pack as well. But we'll have her sit in this nest. She might be able to have two more babies at least before she passes away. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Um, Kukir Duke is just a little bit older than she is, so we just have to keep a very close eye on them. If they can manage to have a female, actually, then we might be able to breed her with Kirvan Kir and then keep the line going that way. But let's see, we can change your little gem, Izris. She's one of our warriors, so she has the orange gems. And they were learning in the last episode how to defend the pack too, by keeping everyone safe in all of this darkness. So they are definitely earning their gems. But let's see, how are we going to uh, go about this now? Because we want to pick up all of this food, but we also want to make sure that our little creatures are getting paired off properly. So when Kirvan Ro grows up, we could possibly have him breed with Laresi, since she doesn't have the blind eyes in her recessives. She does have some of the immunity genes that he does, but at this point I feel like it would be easier to work around a double immunity gene problem than it would be for blindness. So I think that's what we're going to do. We'll have to remember to pair them up as soon as he grows a little bit older. But for now, let's have these guys scoop up as many berries as they possibly can because of course we want to keep our stores very high and we have a ton of berries to scoop up too. I don't believe we've had rain in a while, but it seems like um, we're doing okay just the same. So we'll have Rala pick up these nuts for um, the moment. Adam's son, I believe his name was Dukir, was the one who was originally picking all of these uh, acorns for us. But of course he passed away in the last episode too. So many of them are passing away now and it is so sad because it's definitely like um, the end of an era when they start passing away. But let's have you pick up these nuts as well. And then um, Kier Duke is going to stay right by the nests, I think. We don't want him to move too far away. Um, Duke Rota, let's see. We could have you peek in the grass at least so nothing jumps out and attacks this little nest over here. And um, Lazri, I don't know if we really have anyone who could breed with you. Um, you have the blind eyes, and that's going to be a problem. I mean, we could have her breed with Kier Duke. We do have the normal eyes in here. We could just see how it goes, just for the sake of keeping our numbers high at this point. Um, let's just give it a try, I guess. We'll just give it a very quick try. We'll have her move 
over this way, though I'm not sure if she's going to have enough turns to do so. Yeah, she'll have to move over to the next nest in on the next turn, I suppose. And then we could have Sianami move over to uh, this nest because she has a bit of a longer range since she has um, those two running legs. So they're kind of going to swap places for a little while. It's going to be a little bit chaotic here, but I'm sure we'll get the hang of it. So let's see, we can have Lazri kind of peek in all of this grass over here just to keep things nice and clear. And I think that might be it. Oh my goodness, wait a second. Hello, little bunny. Well, you guys can work together. You can kill the bunny and then you can uh, gather up the meat for us. There we go. And that is officially all of our turns used. So let's see, we'll skip ahead. Is anyone going to pass away? Um, no, it looks like they're okay. That's good. Um, let's see though. This is, oh my gosh, do you have antlers? It looks like he has antlers. Oh my goodness, Roro Duke. That is adorable. And he has the D immunity gene and the B immunity gene. It is a male. I was hoping for a female so that we would have somebody to pair off with Kuvank here, especially as he has just grown up too. Let's change his little, um, his little gem to blue as well. But um, that's pretty good. At least we have another uh, male here and he has the normal eyes too in his genetics. So that definitely worked out. It's definitely a good idea to keep the normal eyes in our mutation menu for now, just to kind of weed out that blindness gene. Um, like I said, it's okay if we have a couple of blind creatures, but I don't want it completely consuming our entire pack like we're currently having this uh, spit snout situation. We do need to make sure that these um, less helpful genetics are contained at least. So Lazri, why don't you come over here before you end up passing away too? We'll sit here in this nest and we'll just cross our fingers that their baby doesn't end up blind. And now we need to make sure that Sianami has enough turns to uh, get over to this nest. So if we move both of them toward the nest, that should be a good way to do it. Let's see, Sianami can go right here and then we'll have Kira Duke meet her over here, breed with her, and then she can use the rest of her turns to uh, scoot over to this side. There we go. So she'll be able to have one more baby. That might be the last one that she can have unless we can sneak just like one more out of them and um, she can pick up these berries in the meantime too. You might as well. And then Duke Hirvan can actually help you collect the rest of them. Um, we're doing pretty good with food still, so that's good to see. And let's see, why don't you at least peek in this grass right here? Oh my goodness, we have more bunnies, guys. Rala, why don't you pounce on this one? There we go. It was distracted by all of the uh, berries, of course. I think he did end up munching away at these, but we do have the meat now. And I think the meat would be worth a little bit more than what we could get of the berry bushes anyway. So let's have Isri sit up here and collect these nuts and the berries as well. And then let's see, Kirvanro, we want to make sure that you are safe. We don't want you getting attacked by any carnivores. And um, you're kind of in the middle of the grass right now, but hopefully that'll be okay. Um, Duke Rota can at least peek in here to keep this little darling safe. And, um, oh, it looks like we have another berry bush over here too. And I almost forgot, we did cut down one of these berry bushes with um, Miram in the last episode and it has already grown back, guys. So it grows back very, very quickly and that is very good to see. Um, just in case you end up misclicking like I do all the time and destroy your berry bushes, now you don't have to worry about them being gone forever. So there we go, we picked up a bunch of food um, that might be good for now. We just have a couple of turns left here. La Resi could do a little bit of exploring to make sure that nothing jumps out at these little babies. And then I think we're okay. We're going to go ahead and see what sort of babies we get out of these guys now. So we have our little um, gatherer over here. Oh no, and it is blind. It did end up being blind. Oh my goodness, and it has the no paw too. Mirira, you have an adorable name, but I'm not sure if that's going to be very good for our pack. At least that means that we can kind of park her by one of the berry bushes and then she'll be able to help us gather up things. Um, she won't really be a bunny hunter because she does have the berry paw, so it would be better to have her by one of the bushes. I mean, she's kind of strong, all things considered. She has the antlers, so she is kind of strong. I'm sure she'll be helpful to the pack anyway. I mean, she is adorable. She has the stripes, she has those blind eyes, which make them look very mystical. But look at you, look at that fur color. Oh, that is so cool, the red and the black. It makes like a very rich, almost like mahogany sort of color. That is really cool, okay. And um, Cuckoo Duke is his name, that is adorable too. These names, I love the names that the game comes up with. And he is healthy too, which is also good to see, but I really like seeing that they have the normal eyes in their genetics. That is really what we're uh, working toward right now. So if I bring Sianami up here, 
maybe we could have them have that like one last baby that might be good and then we just have to move this little baby out of the nest right next to his brother we'll have them kind of look after each other at this point and then Sienna can come up here and have her very last child I'm crossing my fingers for a female at this point we really need a female it's so strange how the balance of this game works sometimes it's like you're either running out of males or females either all males are being born or all females are being born but let's go ahead and pick up all of our food here we have some more nuts. Um, is Reese actually, you could knock all of our acorns down so that your sisters can help you gather these up. Um, it looks like Laresi can grab a few of these and then we'll have Rala scoot up here and she can grab the rest. There we go. Those help us out. They give us a two pieces of food apiece. And hello, little bunny. Where on earth did you come from? Dukirvan can pounce on you and uh, grab up your meat. That worked pretty well. Um, I think we want to have Kukirdu come down here just to keep an eye on things because we are getting a lot of dark space yet again. We'll have Kuvanro come down here too to help gather up the berries. And um, let's see, I suppose we could have Laresi since she is our warrior and she needs to keep the pack safe. We'll have her come over here to keep an eye on some of that um, darkness right there too. Now you better scoop up all of these berries with your berry paws. You definitely need to do that. And uh, you can do the same, actually. There we go. And you have a berry paw, too. So many berry paws over on this side of the island. And I think that's it now. I think we can skip the turn. We'll see what our very final baby out of Sianami is going to be. Um, is it going to be a little girl? No, it's another boy, but he has that gorgeous fur color again. And the stripes. Oh, that is so cool. Takirku. And he has the big nose. Okay, that's good to see too. So we're keeping the big nose in this line. Not a trace of the spit snout in this part of the line, which is at least going to keep our um, separate lines diverse enough. But there we go. Okay, so now we need to start pairing off this generation, which is going to be a little bit trickier since we have so few females. It looks like Kuvanro is almost fully grown. So he should be able to possibly breed with one of these sisters over here. Let's see. Laresi does not have the blind eyes in her genetics, so I think we'll breed her with Kirvanro, just so it's uh, much less likely that they're going to end up with a uh, blind child like this one over here. And then let's see, the others, since um, they don't have any trace of the blindness in their genetics, we might go ahead and breed them with like Rala and Isris. And I think actually um, we have the big body sitting in these genetics too. It looks like Roroduke actually has the big body. So that's good too, because of course we want our warriors to have as big of a strength stat as possible. So that would be good to keep on those. Um, we could possibly find someone for this little girl too. I mean, we shouldn't leave her out just because she's blind. Um, she does have the berry paw after all, so we do want to make sure that we keep the berry paws in the line. Um, let's see, so how about this guy back here? Maybe he would be best to breed with her. Basically, everyone has immunity gene B. For some reason, that seems to be like the strongest gene on our islands all the time. So I don't think we're going to be able to uh, get past that right now, but that's okay. And Lazri, oh, you are going to be passing away so very soon. Um, luckily, your child, even though she's blind, does not have that B. So okay, that is good to see. We're definitely going to breed her in the future. Um, we will change her gem over to blue too since she is a collector and she should be able to help us out with that side of the line. We'll just need to make sure that not all of her children are born blind because we don't want blind creatures sitting at all of our bushes either. That's probably not going to help us out very much. But we need to make sure that all of these little creatures grow up pretty soon. Um, we'll go ahead and gather up food while we're waiting. Um, let's have Isris knock down a couple more of these nuts. There we go, so they can gather up these, and oh my goodness, there's a little bunny. We're going to leave Rala with her one turn left, um, unless we can pounce on him again. Um, oh gosh, Loresi is just too far away to pounce on this guy, so we're just going to keep an eye on him, see where he goes. He seems to be munching on this berry bush right now, so we'll just, um, let's see, where is he going to go now? Oh, off into the darkness of all the places. So that one might be a little bit harder for us to uh, snag up. But we have a couple more things to collect over here. Some more acorns for us to knock down. You might as well help out Duke Rhoda. You can uh, pick up those berries and then scoot over here. And uh, let's see, that bunny is definitely gone. He scooted way off into the grass, it looks like. I'm keeping my eye out for carnivores too because we have so much darkness over here. It's a little bit worrying. But you, Kukira Duke, you can pick up some of your very last berries, it looks like. This is definitely going to be his last turn. And Asianami is as well. 
Um, I guess she could help her mate just collect all of this food for the pack. That's going to be their final, final contribution to uh, this island. And do Kirvan as well. You look like you might be passing away. He might have one more day out of him. But I feel like his time is definitely up as well. Um, these little babies can at least pick some of these berries. There we go. We're already at 76 pieces of food. And I think that might be just about it. Just about all that we can do with um, this turn. It looks like Laresi actually has a couple more, so you can pick these berries. We don't want to leave you out. And um, your baby is going to have to stay near some of these guys. We have to make sure that they're not going to pass away, though. Um, they have some life left, so we'll have Marira just stay with this family. They're actually part of her family in some way anyway, because they all have those blue gems. So she will be very well protected. Don't worry, Lazari. You are going to have a very protected child after you pass away. So let's go ahead and skip the day. Um, yeah, a couple of them definitely passed. It looks like Dukirvan managed to stick around, though, and so did Sianami. That's actually surprising. So I guess she could have had just one more baby if we wanted to, but they have had enough, I think. They have definitely had the chance to spread their genetics all around the island. So let's see, has anyone grown up yet? Kirvanro just has a little bit longer to go. He'll probably be grown on the next turn, and then we can start working on their line. Um, but let's see. We might as well pick up all of this food again. We'll just go ahead and pick up all of the food and then we'll skip the turn yet again. Um, we do need to keep an eye on these guys, make sure that they're not going to pass away anytime soon. It looks like they're fine. All of these sisters are doing just fine. And Laresi, you can finally pounce on one of these bunnies and grab it up for us. There we go. They're doing an excellent job bunny hunting. Even though we can't really stick these guys on top of the burrows anymore, or at least it didn't really seem to work for me now that the game has been updated, we are doing just fine pouncing pouncing away at these guys and making sure that we uh, catch them before they eat all of our berries. So let's have Marira kind of uh, pick up these acorns for us and you guys can help too. Um, once we pick up a few more, we can go ahead and like headbutt the tree and then uh, grab just a couple more of these acorns. Let's see. There we go. So almost all of the squares ended up getting filled up. Um, now let's see, we have a couple more over here for us to pick. Sienemy, you can gather up some more food. We're getting very close to 100 pieces already. That's pretty crazy. So let's go ahead and skip the turn again. Sienemy and Dukirvan too. Oh, that is so sad, but at least they brought the rain with them. At least there's that, so we have even more food to collect now. But there we go. It looks like Kirvanro grew up, so he'll be able to start his little family too. And you are gorgeous. Cuckoo Duke, you are absolutely gorgeous. Look at him. Oh my gosh, he might be one of my new favorites too. I absolutely adore this guy, the color of his fur in particular. Unfortunately, he does have the no paw, so we're going to have to try to breed that out of the line. It's kind of ironic because we did manage to breed it out with Adam, but then we let this new creature into the pack and he kind of brought it back in with him. Marira, let's change your second gem and we'll have you just collect as much food as possible. We'll have Kuvan here collected these up too, and then we have just a couple more of these nuts to grab. There we go. And now let's see, what are we going to do for the uh, genetics of this little family, I wonder? So we wanted Kirvanro to breed with Loresi, um, who is the green-eyed sister. And let's see, she has, of course, the spit snout, she has the claw, she has the big body. We want them to be the warriors. We definitely want to breed some better warriors. So what we might do is place the claw in here, I think I'll swap these around, in fact. And we might as well get rid of the normalized too, since we know that Laresi does not have the blindness trait at all. In fact, what we might want to do is place the poison fangs in there. And I know it's kind of unlikely that we're going to end up passing the poison fangs, especially over the spit snout, because the spit snout is a very dominant gene, apparently, in this game. It is very hard for us to get rid of the spit snout now. But what we'll do is we'll have Laresi come over here. We'll have her switch places with Cuckoo Duke. He can kind of scoot up here and pick a berries in the meantime. Um, and we'll have Kuvanro come over here, breed with her, and then she can sit right in this nest. And hopefully they will have a nice, healthy baby. Um, it does seem like we might have trouble with the immunity genes, but in the long run, that might actually make it easier on us because if their babies have two immunity gene A's, then we'll know that we just have to look for a mate for them who does not have immunity gene A in any of his genetics. So it might work out in our favor if we keep uh, going this way. But it looks like all of the other brothers have uh, yet to grow up. 
Cuckoo Duke needs a couple more days, and uh, Roro Duke might be ready in the next day, actually. So in the next episode, we might go ahead and start their branch of the family, too. We'll have Roro Duke breed with Rala and see what they can give us. But for now, we just need to scoop up all of the berries that we possibly can because we have a ton of them. And I know those bunnies are probably watching us right now and um, munching on all of the berries in the darkness. So we'll have Rala come over here and pick these. We'll have Kuvanra at least pick as many as he possibly can. I know it won't be many because he doesn't have any berry paws. All of our berry paws are way back here, so we might actually want to uh, spread these guys out a little bit more in the future. But let's see, I think that's about it. I keep thinking that these skeletons are bunnies because they're just poking out of the grass here, but those are just skeletons, unfortunately, and that's uh, nothing that we can gather from. So there we go. Let's at least see what this little baby is going to be. Our first little baby of this line. And it's a spit snout, guys. Of course it's a spit snout. But look at this. It's almost like a uh, reincarnation of Miram. And her name is Marasi, too. Oh my gosh. So the black fur, two slots of black fur. And uh, she is actually healthy, which is kind of surprising. And she has the green eyes. That's kind of cool. I think she would technically be like um, the granddaughter of Miram, wouldn't she? So that is really neat, and I just noticed that we have something rustling over here. So again, right before we end out the episode, um, let's go ahead and see what's in all of this grass. Oh my gosh, this is a little bit worrying. Um, we do have a couple of warriors ready to swoop in if we need them, so let's see what's in here. A carnivore, of course it's going to be a carnivore. And what is in here? A little panda baby! What? What on earth are you? You are adorable, Lanair. She has violet eyes in her recessive slot. She has the panda pattern. She has double claws. It can't get any better than this. An eight in strength. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is exactly what we needed right now, but she is just a little tiny baby. Oh my goodness, I can't even right now. This is amazing. So we are definitely going to try our best to like zoom in on her. The camera does not want us to get any closer than we currently are. There we go. Look at you. You are amazing, little critter. You are definitely going to help us out here. And uh, especially as we need to deal with this carnivore in the next episode. So hopefully we can get our warriors to kind of swoop in and save the day. Save our gathering line, in fact, because all of these guys are our gatherers and we don't want him harming poor Marira or the rest of her family for that matter. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!